Hello everybody, I'm Mark and you're watching the Garage Guy H79 channel. This is Thursday night, December 15th, 2022. Now back on April 24th of this year, I did the initial video on this revolver, the Taurus Model 82 Chamber 38 Special, and it is also rated for 38 Special Plus P ammo. Uh, here couple of days ago I got to thinking about it and I'd realized I hadn't taken the first shots with it. We all know how uh, people get busy with other things and uh, things come up, work and days off, bad weather, you can't get out and do some things and of course I have did videos on other firearms but this one here for some reason that I can't think of I'd more or less put this on the back burner. Well I'll tell you what that back burner, I turned the switch off on that. As of uh, yesterday, I took the first shots with this. First six shots I used was uh, the Remington UMC 38 Special Ammo, uh, 130 grain rounds. And the uh, second six shots I took was the Black Hills Ammunition Ammo. 38 Special plus P rated 125 grain jacketed hollow points. I've never had any problems with Black Hills ammo. I've heard some people complain about it, but that was mostly semi-autos. But this here being a revolver, I really don't foresee any problems. So why don't we just watch some video footage I took or uh, made me taking the first shots with this revolver. Then we'll come back here we'll talk about it all right my friends first shots taurus model 82 chamber and 38 special let's see if we can hit that yellow silhouette target over there first shots No problem whatsoever. Uh, just got to get my point aim down, Pat. Let's reload this. All right, my friends, got some Black Hills ammo, 38 Special Plus P, jacketed hollow points. Let's go ahead and uh, put her in a cylinder right there. We are good to go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last two shots are in double action. It ejected fine. Nothing but a thing. Why well, you say we go up to the house? Wrap this up. All right, my friends. Uh, first of all, let's do a safety check right here. I have six snap caps in here. All right. Point name, safe direction. No problems. Uh, the grip on here, firing the uh, 38 Special and especially the Plus P rounds, was no big deal, especially this being a heavy steel framed revolver. The only way I could tell any difference between 38 Special and the uh, Plus P rounds was the Plus P rounds were a little bit louder, you know, and not that much louder 
But when they hit the target, they did knock a little more paint off than the uh, regular rounds. But the grip was comfortable. You know, a lot of people complain about these TARS factory grips right here. I didn't have any problems with it, you know, especially here on 38 Special. Now, the uh, hammer and trigger action on here, this being brand new and uh, the only shots that have been fired through it, of course, have been at the factory. As we all know, there's really no, no such thing as a firearm that's never been fired. They're usually fired at the factory before they're sent out. Single action, just barely. Just barely got to touch it. And, you know, e even with this being smooth, it is a little stiff. Like I said, brand new. Uh, I personally never fired it. Now, let's try a little double action. There we go. We'll like it. Two clicks. One, two. Yeah, very easy to stay on target with it, even in double action. Now, on camera, I only fired, uh, what was it, two or three shots in double action, and I hit my target. Target acquisition, very easy with the uh, plus P rounds. Now, when I did the initial video, I compared it with the... Uh, Model 65 Taurus, which is chambered in 357 Magnum, and it was a pre-81 model. Well, and uh, I want to mention somebody else that did a comparison video, but it was more or less a shooting video. I'm talking about my good buddy Greg Newton at the Lion Quest Fitness Channel. He did a shooting comparison with the Model 82 and... A, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Smith & Wesson Model 10. Very good video. Get over to Lion Quest Fitness Channel. Check that video out. But I think I found a revolver that would be more compatible with the Model 82. And that would be this uh, Smith & Wesson Model 64. Of course, this is a Dash 8 model. I've already done the initial video on this, and I do need to take my first shots with it. I bought this used, and it's cleaned up rather nice. Had a few little rust spots on it was the only issue with it, and uh, hopefully I can address those in the upcoming video about this. But as far as comparable size, Smith & Wesson Model uh, 64, Taurus Model 82, they are almost identical almost you know and i do plan on doing a shooting and physical comparison with these two model revolvers right here model 82 worked just fine okay like i smith said uh smooth hammer and trigger action uh still stiff from it being brand new but hopefully when i get more rounds down the pipe It'll smooth out nicely. Got no problems with it whatsoever. Now, one thing I will say, I've looked all over online, Taurus website. They do not seem to have the Model 82 with the matted stainless finish on it. But that's all right. I don't need one of those. I have this right here. So far, so good. I plan on taking this out. And put maybe about 100 rounds to it, maybe 150. See how it does, half in single, half in double action. And once I do that, I will make the update video. Now when I look online, this is going anywhere from $370 up to $400. Which I think is a great buy, you know, as long as it works well. Remains inexpensive and not made cheap, which I do not think this is. This is a sturdy made revolver. You know, got no problems with it whatsoever. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the first shots video of this, Taurus Model 82. And I hope more people out there will give this a try. I mean, this has been good so far. You know, knock on wood. 
Hopefully you won't have any problems with it. And like I said, update video coming here within the next few months. Uh, I hope to do a 500 round update on this. See how the finish holds up. Black oxide uh, finish. You holster it a few times, yeah, it's going to wear down, but uh, still yet, the finish does not make a firearm. I think we can all agree on that. As long as it's reliable and dependable, then a little holster wear, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Catch you good people later.